Building a new website can be a lot of fun, but it can be very time consuming. Imagine having help in creating blog posts that have great images, YouTube videos, they're interlinked, and they even have a social media schedule that you can import into tools such as Publer to help distribute your content. And I'm not talking about junk content either. These are good quality articles that get traffic. It's not just me seeing these results. There's an entire community of users who regularly share their wins as well as help and support each other. And the funny thing is, this isn't some fancy web tool. In fact, this is one of the ugliest Windows tools I've ever seen. But I don't care how it looks when it produces such amazing results. It doesn't matter if you've got an existing website or you're looking to start some new ones, you need Zimwriter. So coming up on today's video, I'm going to show you how Zimwriter can help you generate website ideas. I'm then going to show you how it can create blog topic and title ideas before going on to write articles that contain images and videos. It can also create a social media post schedule and I'll demo that as well. To demonstrate how powerful Zimwriter is, let's start a brand new site. First thing I'm going to do is head to AI Vault. I'm going to go down to, I'm going to go to the bulk niche generator. Here's where you can add the topic you're interested in. For this demonstration, let's just say pet fish. You want to be a little bit specific. If I just put fish, it would probably come out with things like fishing or how to catch fish. And I specifically want pet fish. You can put in different ideas. You could have pet fish, pet dogs, pet cats, whatever the topics you want. You can list multiple topics here and they will generate lots of different ideas. Once it's finished, you get an output file that you can open in Excel. It suggests website names, URLs, and what the website should be about. And because I put it in a few times, I've got quite a lot of options to choose from. To check if any of these domain names are available, it's super quick and easy. Just filter by website, copy all the URLs, head over to beast mode on Namescheap, paste them in, hide unavailable, hit generate, and we'll see all the ones that are available. And you can simply purchase the one that takes your fancy so you're ready to start your new website. Now we have a website and a topic. I'm going to head back to the AI vault. I'm going to need some articles. So you enter the broad concept. In this case, we're going with the fish concept of keeping fish. I'm going to go with 10 clusters and I want 10. So fish tank setup, water quality and maintenance, best fish species for beginners. So these are all very good tank decoration ideas, breeding fresh water fish filtration systems. Right, great. Happy with all those. So I'm going to proceed. It's now going to go away and create a spreadsheet. You'll get notified when it's done and you'll have a CSV file which shows you the clusters, the keywords, the type of post, and it gives you a blog title. Now, you don't want to create all of these because there's going to be some overlap. So these three are trying to focus on the same thing. See, they're in groups of three and you'd pick the best titles. Having looked through the first set of blog posts, I've taken out a load that I don't want to write, and I'm left with my first batch. Now, I'm not doing every single category straight away because I'm gonna to want to do some internal linking and Zimwriter can help me with that. Start writing blogs, I take the merge field, head over to the bulk writer, and paste them in. Zimwriter has a lot of amazing features in the bulk writer, and this allows you to add things like lists and tables, bold help readability. You can have a different type of introduction, whether you want it as a standard intro or a search intent intro, you can add FAQs. You can tailor the writing to a certain type of audience. In this case, I'm going with caregiver. You can select the AI model for writing and the models you see will depend on what you've hooked up. I'll explain that in a moment. You can have it automatically create keywords. And the real time saver for me is images. It's all about getting really nice original images. I don't want to be sat there sifting through lots of stock images. So for this, I'm going to use this model. You can select the aspect ratio and the style as well. So this is stable diffusion that I'm using. Let's go with a cinematic look. And I'm going to add subheading images every other H2. Again, I'm going to use stable diffusion, but this time I'm going to change the aspect ratio because I want this to be an image that I can use on Pinterest. It's automatically going to upload the articles to WordPress. It's going to scrape the Google results for information and it's going to mimic a style I like. So whether it's your writing style or someone else's, you can get it to mimic that style and you can also get it to add YouTube videos. It's pretty amazing stuff. So while it's busy writing out our new content, let me just tell you why Zimmerate is so special and why you need to jump on this. 
Let's take a look at some competitors. So Jasper, $39 and $59, and you have to go with $60 a month to get access to AI image generation. Outranking ridiculously expensive these days, $19.79, $159 a month, and you can only create 30 documents, that's insane. Why can ZimWriter beat all of these both on quality and price? Well, it is a Windows application. The team don't have to pay for any hosting. And the way it's set up is you pay for what you use. So you've got ZimWriter. Imagine that is a rocket and it needs the fuel to take you and your website into stratospheric heights. Well, the kind of components you want to use and the add-ons you're gonna be paying for are $5 a month for Scrape Owl. That allows it to scrape the Google results and also get Amazon products. So it'll send the request off, get the script information, that gets fired back into ZimWriter. ZimWriter then uses that information and its inbuilt prompts with the AI APIs. So you can hook this up to OpenAI. You've got OpenRouter, which then opens the door to a lot of other models such as Perplexity, Claude Grock and Anthropic. These are all differing in costs, so I can't give you an exact price. You just have to experiment with the one you like. And then finally, you've got Image APIs. So after it's written the article, it can get the images. It can just pull one from Pexels. That'll just be a stock photography one that you can use. Or if you want to generate a brand new image, it has a range of models that, that you can use. Each of those costs something different. All that's fed back into ZimWriter. And once it's completed the article, it will then output it and it can either upload it directly to your WordPress site, output it to a markdown file, or output it to a HTML file. And those last two can be used with non-WordPress sites. So if you're not using WordPress and you want to use ZimWriter, you can get take this file and copy the contents and paste it straight into your website's blog section. So in terms of cost, this information is directly included in the output file. So I've just copied and pasted this. So you can see I used 4.0 mini for this article and it did about 1,200 words and it cost almost nothing. I mean, that, that is hardly anything. Now, imagine scaling that up, you can write 100 articles and you still haven't uh, come close to the outranking price that they want to charge. Do note that that doesn't include images. There's extra image prices. Uh, if you're using Stable Diffusion, for example, you have to buy credits. But again, I, if I buy $10 worth of credits, that gets me a lot of images. But what is the cost? Well, you can pay monthly, and it's, it's just under $25 a month. You can pay annually, or you can currently lock in a lifetime deal. So you'll buy this once and never again. It can be used on one computer, but you can install it on as many as you want, but it can only be used active on one computer. Now, if you're thinking you'd like to use this with your team and you want to use it as well, then if you're using it with a team, your best option is to go for the monthly price because you can easily disable the license and that way you can cut them off and stop them from using it if required. As you can see, the lifetime deal is still around for a little bit at the time of recording. You've got 85 days, but that's only till the end of this year. After that, you'll be paying monthly regardless. So if you're interested in the lifetime deal or the monthly deal or just want to learn more, check out my affiliate link down below. So we've got an initial batch of articles, but I've stopped the process at this point because moving forward, I want to be able to have the articles interlinked. And to do that, I go back to ZimWriter, go to Link Toolbox, paste in the URLs of all the existing articles, and I'm gonna create a link pack. What's gonna happen here now is it's going to read all the articles, create a link pack, so that when it's writing the next batch of articles, it can interlink with articles that are already on the site. With the link pack created, it's time to start my next batch of articles, but this time I've enabled the new link pack to be used. So as it writes these articles, if it can do, it will interlink with my existing articles. And the final step is to go back into the AI vault, head to the social media scheduler. This creates a CSV file with all your images and URL links, which after a little bit of tweaking and reformatting, you can use to import into a social media scheduler such as Publer. And this is what it looks like on Pinterest. It's taken, this is the featured image. If it was one of the subheading images, it would be the proper Pinterest size. And it's written a little description. So you can see more description there got my logo set up, you can visit the site, and that will go to the blog article. In total, this took me a couple of days to fully set up. Obviously, you have to have the WordPress website. I use WP Buzz. 
Don't worry, I will put links down below to all the things I've used in this video. You can see we've got some great images here that will be popping up on Pinterest soon. If it feels like I've gone through an awful lot of stuff, I have, and I've not even scratched the surface. SimWriter has a ton of additional features and I strongly recommend subscribing to the channel. You can do YouTube thumbnails, which I've actually used for my own channel. There's a ton of how-tos on the channel already, such as how to use the SEO buffet, how to do bulk products roundups, all that kind of stuff that I've not had time to do for this video. It'd just be far too long. And recently, if you've never done a website at all, you'll be pleased to see a completely free course on how to build a website from scratch using Zimwriter. So this goes right the way through, lesson by lesson, niche selection, blog titles. You see there's a lot of content there. I think it's like eight hours of content, all there, freely available. Links to all of this down below. Let me know what you think to the website, the articles, and Zimwriter in general.